OK, Moderna hoping to start giving vaccines for teens and new evidence of the vaccine in this link to heart disease. Let's get right over to our weekly Q&A with Dr. David Winter from Baylor Scott and White Health. Good to see you. Good morning, Sonia. Good to see you. So let's start with this growing body of evidence that's becoming stronger for this link between COVID vaccines and heart disease. What's going on here? Yeah, it's it's scary for sure. We know that this myocarditis, inflammation of the heart, occurs in younger folks about one in a million cases. Now, it looks like, though, by the recent tally, if you've gotten the vaccine and you're young, it's twice that number, two in a million. So still very, very low, 226 cases. Only three of those were severely ill, I'm told. And everybody else got well pretty quickly. Within a week or two, they get well. So scary. Uh, the FDA or the uh, panel is going to look at this on June 18th to make a decision about what to do going forward. So just to reassure folks, it's very, very rare. Most folks get well pretty quickly, but it's a new concern. More studies need to be happening. Yeah, certainly time will tell. Um, more people are congregating in public settings recently without masks, right? So, I mean, at pretty much everywhere I go right now, no one's wearing a mask. Um, so is there still a risk for COVID-19 and, and passing it around and spreading it with no one wearing masks? Yeah, I worry about that, Sonia. I know that you do also. I'm talking to my patients, my friends. I think they're being a little bit too cavalier. That virus is still out there. So in Dallas County, four deaths yesterday, two days ago, five deaths, more than 100 cases, new cases every day this week. So the virus is still out there. I'm very concerned about that going forward. Uh, if you're not protecting yourself, you may get it, and it's still a bad, pesky virus. Yeah, so I guess my concern really is this big question mark around the variants. Um, and so what about this uh, variant? I guess it's called Delta right now, um, the one that originated from India. How does it differ from these other strains? And we know that it's in this community. I reported on that weeks ago. You, you did it indeed. It's here. It's in this country. It's a big one in India, and they're having 6,000 deaths a day there. So it's clearly more contagious and the same probably even more deadly. The good news is all three vaccines in this country, Pfizer, Moderna, J&J, &J, work against that. In fact, they work against all the viruses so far. So if you've got a vaccine, you're okay. But if you haven't had one, I'd be very worried about this India virus and all those viruses out there right now, Sonia. All right, Dr. Winter, I kind of want to switch gears now. I know we've been talking about COVID only for such a long time, but there was pretty big news out of, um, I guess it was earlier, maybe Monday, Monday this week, Aduhelm, this newly approved drug for Alzheimer's. So let's talk about that. Who should be considered for this? I know that the FDA still has questions around it, but ultimately they sided with families and said, mm -hmm. okay, we'll, we'll allow it for use right now, basically. Yeah, it got accelerated approval or a fast track approval based on the fact that a couple studies have shown that folks who have taken this monoclonal antibody, Aduhelm as you called it, they've taken it, they've seen that the amyloid plaques in the brain on MRI scans have shrunk. Now that's good news, although three people, three FDA panel members, they objected to this. In fact, they resigned under protest, said it's too early to make that decision. Those folks may have had the plaques shrink, but their memory did not get better. Now, maybe in time the memory will get better, or maybe we'll decide that it just slows the progression. Those answers aren't here quite yet. So I've talked to two neurologists, friends of mine, uh, just yesterday about this, and they're not too excited. They think this is not the blockbuster drug. It may have some application, but too soon to tell about this thing. It's not as good as we would like it to be quite yet, Sonia. Interesting. Yeah, days ago we were hearing, you know, big treatment breakthrough and now kind of already days later we're, we're hearing uh, some of these mm -hmm. top experts pumping the brakes. Mm -hmm. All right, Dr. Yep, David Winter. And that's the way science tends to go. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. That's true. Good to see you. Thank you so much.